and high tech help bring smiles all around. <laughs> How a computer is helping a woman stay on her feet. First in HD. 11 News at 5. Okay, imagine spending your entire life having to watch your every step for fear of falling down. That is exactly how it's been for one local woman until today. She was fitted with a computerized artificial leg. Now, she's not exactly the bionic woman, but as 11 News reporter Brad Wooder discovered, she is something of a hero in the eyes of those who know her. Yeah, you take care of the house, Austin. On a muggy May morning, Diana and Joe Johnston are off to an appointment. It's a big day, Diana. Yes, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm excited. I don't know what I'm doing. And even though it's just minutes away, the next few miles will mark the beginning of a life-altering journey. The first stop on that journey. Oh boy, don't you look spiffy today. Do I look like I know what I'm doing? The Amputee and Prosthetic Center in Northeast Houston. You see, Diana, age 60, was born with a partially developed left leg, missing both her calf and thigh. I was just born that way, they don't know why. And in a lifetime of using one prosthetic leg after another, she's taken her share of tumbles. Well, they go in spurts of three, so once I get three falls out of the way, then I know I'm clear for a while. <laughs> um, I had to pay attention to my feet. Today, that's about to change because Diana is being fitted with what's known as a C leg, a computerized leg with a microprocessor in the knee. When her heel hits the ground, the microprocessor is analyzing her gait 50 times a second. And if it senses Diana is about to stumble, it uses hydraulics to keep the leg from buckling. It's the same kind of prosthetic being used on soldiers who've lost limbs in Iraq and Afghanistan. But this one, costing $50,000, comes from a charity known as Limbs of Love, which has given away a million dollars worth of prosthetic devices in just the last two years. Her insurance company covered absolutely nothing for prosthetic devices. So no matter what she needed, even the most remedial yeah. type of limb, they cover absolutely nothing. That could be changing. A prosthetic parity bill that would provide minimum coverage for amputees equal to Medicare coverage has just passed in the State House and State Senate. All that's missing is the governor's signature. <laughs> As for Diana Johnston, she may be 60, but on this day, she's filled with childlike glee. Her happiness is just great and it helps me to know that I'm not going to have to pick her up anymore when she falls down. Something tells us Joe Johnston, her husband of 49 years, will always be there just the same. Brad Woodard, 11 News.